Well, folks, we are in the middle of our spring garden here in Florida. And uh, we need to do, but check out this lettuce. I have never been able to grow lettuce like this before. And uh, look at it. There's some right here and right there. So welcome back to our Florida Life YouTube channel. And we're going to update you with our garden. So um, I had some helpers with the garden. So we've got potatoes kind of scattered everywhere. we got some here, here. Um, there's one there, there. There's another plant there, some back there. There's a row of them right there. Um, and I've got some behind this plant and over here. So um, they're kind of mixing with this lettuce, but this lettuce, um, awesome. Let me get a little closer. Yeah. All right, so there's the lettuce and they are awesome heads. Um, I mean, technically you can cut the leaves off and eat some leaves or just take the whole head off. Um, this one right here is ready that one ready too if we wanted to do that but uh our corn uh let me, i'm gonna hobble over there uh and show you our corn i say hobble because um we were at the beach a couple days ago i didn't post that video yet i might get a different one on and i ended up cutting my foot open so uh i'm using crutches to hobble around but let me get over there so our corn i don't know what it is what kind of corn it is um but it's already tasseling this one here is so I don't know if it just got in late or if it's a short corn, which it might be. Um, <clears throat> but um, it's got some yellow in the leaves, so I'll have to go research why. I don't remember. I'm sure it's deficient with something. So um, the girls put some marigolds and stuff in there. But that lettuce is looking real good. There's some cucumbers they dropped in there too. But we'll go to the more organized part of the garden. So in here was zucchini, which didn't grow. And over here, this is our yellow crookneck squash. Uh, summer squash and the biggest one is over there um, I'll hand my phone to my son so he can walk over there and kind of videotape them up real quick film on a couple of Alright, so we've got two different kinds of green beans. The green beans over here are an heirloom that I got from Tractor Supply. And um, we'll get the camera a little closer so you can see the green beans on there. They're growing. They're starting up. And uh, some of them are doing better than others, as you can tell. Um, but we are trying to do our best. And so these beans here, I'm going to try and zoom are more of a flat bean um, and my mom gets and uh, they're doing really well um, we've got a lot of beans on these plants probably in a couple days we can start picking some beans um, but they use them they get them for canning I think they've got like 50 60 jars already canned from their harvesting this year of course they had more than I got so here's the beans if you can all see them all they're nice good hearty looking beans they're about ready to be picked um, but some are and some aren't, so I might let them stay another day or so, and then we'll pick probably on Tuesday on my day off. Um, so we're going to go over here and check out the cucumbers. Here's our uh, cucumbers. Um, I'm going to get the boys to show you. We've got a couple on that plant there. It's a darker green. They're all the same variety. Um, they all came out of the same packs, I believe. But uh, there's two different kinds of um, like color to them. I don't know if those are missing something. But we've got a lot of uh, <clears throat> cucumbers. So what I did... And kind of again really experimenting with the garden we're trying to um, figure out what we're gonna do and uh, I can see there's a lot of flowers and there's I can see cucumbers everywhere but we had this hog panel that we haven't used yet so all I did is let's see zip tied them together and then zip tied it to a little post right here just to keep it up so that way the uh, cucumbers can crawl up it which they say trellising is uh, better for the cucumber. So we'll see. But uh, we're hoping we can get something out of our hard work this year. So we are we on our watermelon. We always try watermelon every year. I can see tons of flowers. You can kind of see them, yeah, in the video. They're getting ready to flower. But the plants are just so small. Never really had um, 
much luck with these. Uh, but one thing we did this year is I did these drip hoses. And, um, you know, it's I did it late. That's why you see all this other grass. But I did it late. But um, it's really helping out. So those, they're those beans over there have the drip line. And it's just helping keep that water uh, more contained so that you don't get all this extra grass growth. So uh, like what I got in here. Plus, all right, so our tomatoes. Um, all right, well, let me show you. We have a, unex, unex, a, a visitor here in our tomato plant. I'm just looking at this tomato plant going, hey, look, it's missing all its leaves. Well, look at this. Uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. A horned tomato worm. So he's been chomping away at this tomato plant. You can see him in action right here. Let's see if I can get this focused on him. And do this. Here we go. He's over here eating on it. Pain in the neck. We've had multiple ones of these that just been annihilating our plants. So that tomato plant, let me get it back in focus. That tomato plant right there is doing well, and it actually just grew out of that thing. I tried this string system for the tomato plants. Not a big fan. Not going to do it again. Um, hoping it would work, but didn't quite do what I wanted. Um, what I have this year with my tomatoes, as you can see, that one over there is like yellow and browning. And oh, here's the worm. Let me show you. So I just got him off. There he is right there. Yeah, the chickens, I don't think, will eat that guy, but uh, he's a big boy. Look at that. Yep, he's the one. Uh, hold on, let me get him focused here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. He's the one enjoying my uh, tomato plants. Booger. Yeah, they were tasty for a while, wasn't it? So these guys should have ever, but this is my problem with, oh, there's one on this plant too. I guarantee this is all eaten up. No, we're going to go look here, oh, but, right there. um, yep, there he is over there. There's another one. I'm going to look there. So all. I, I need to get them. better with the, um, anti, there's some other sprays that you can use to get them off and keep them from there. But the tomato plants were doing this. Um, they're getting these, trying to get this focus here so you can see, maybe, there you go. The leaves are kind of turning yellow and browning and curling, which I forget which disease, but this is what's ravaging my tomato plant. Some of them, not all of them. I've got some that are doing really good and others that aren't. So let's focus again. Um, but kind of hit or miss. You can see a lot of tomatoes though. So I'm hoping that we'll get a bunch. There's some turning red and uh, over there. So we're hoping that on those plants, at least we'll get those, but yeah, these uh, worms are killing our our garden, so we're going to get them out of here. So anyways, if anybody has any suggestions on what this might be um, on the tomato plants, um, you can let me know in the comments below. It would be greatly appreciated so we can try and figure out what we need to do. But the drip line was a huge help because you can see like, we were able to weed, but it's just growing the grass around there. Next year, I'm hoping, or next time we plant the garden, I'm trying to get some mulch from the guys when they're... Uh, trimming the trees in the area to try and help keep the weeds down but uh yeah we definitely got some good tomatoes all right so quick update here uh, add in with my regular video my son had his watermelon here so you can see them kind of sporadic the rest of them over here kind of minimal and there's some sugar cane in the back which it looks like most of it's not popping up but there's one there and i think there's another one behind it um Hopefully they decide to pop up, but he wanted to make some cane sugar out of it. So we'll see if they grow. All if right, they do. so my grapes, when we planted those, they're doing a whole lot better. They're getting a lot bigger. Both of them are. Um, I'm going to go show you the blackberry bush that we've got a couple more to add to it that are nowhere near this size, and then our strawberries. All right, so here is our blackberry bush. I bought this and planted it, and look, got loaded with blackberries. I mean, I, I wasn't sure how it would do, and it's Florida. I mean, we got wild blackberries, so lots of blackberries on this bush, which is awesome. And then let's go over here to our strawberries. All right, so I don't know what that is. I think that's a weed, but that's a strawberry plant there, it's a strawberry plant over there. And then this guy here is just absolutely taken off. He's got multiple, and the, the runners are seeding as you can see so are rooting 
And those two are, I think, wild blackberries, which they'll probably, we'll probably let them go and then produce. I don't know. That guy didn't look like he's going to make it. Not sure what happened there. But we bought, I don't know, like 15 or 20 strawberry plants. But this one here, whatever variety this one was, I mean, look at this. It's running, and then we're putting dirt over them so they'll root. And, uh, I mean, this this group here is part of this main plant right here. And this thing just took off. And uh, we're hoping that uh, for next year we'll be able to transplant them and kind of move them along, spread them out a little bit in our raised bed here and have lots of uh, strawberries. So this should produce um, some point this year. It might be more summer strawberries than they are the, the early, late winter. And they had uh, onions over here. Look at these things, they're growing like weeds. So they just did that. We had some some um, sprouting onions. So. so anyways, this strawberry patch here will end up being rather large. And we're going to outgrow it, I can see quickly, because that one, the way he's grown, will move him around in here. So, uh, And then, behind me, we have our blueberries. So here's our, our uh, blueberries. So there's a row here, a row here, a row there, and a row in the back. And they produced fairly well, and the birds got to it. So we're contemplating um, perhaps building a large netted area for these um, and making it, you know, six, seven feet tall. Uh, and that way we can keep the birds out, but I won't do that till later next year at this point. And then um, try to let the, the bushes get bigger and hardier that way when uh, it comes time for them to produce, the, the birds won't get them because they just annihilate it. They took everything out and pretty much uh ate everything so that's an update on our garden now for this uh spring it's doing better than we've had it was probably one of the better gardens this year which is awesome taking much more time to fertilize and doing that so i think that's been a big help so uh when we get a bounty maybe we'll post a real short video on it but uh anyways just want to give you an update on our garden and uh, we got some chickens. I'm going to go over there and maybe do a separate video on those. But I appreciate y'all watching. And we'll see you next time.